Here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Drathan, a.k.a. The Blind Wolf. And today, I want to chat with you about six things that help me stay on track when I am uh, tanking and what helps me. Maybe I can help you. What helps me may help you. Or it will uh, help you build on it. So let's get this thing started. Ping. Again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Drathan, a.k.a. The Blind Wolf, and I am a visually impaired person with um, MS. I love tanking, and that's what this subject is about today, is six things that help me uh, in tanking. Um, and the first thing is, is number six, is ego. Check your ego at you know, check it where uh, before you go into that dungeon. Check it. Um, let me tell you what you're not. You are not a diva. You are not a prima donna. You are not God's gift. Leave that crap to the DPS. Leave that all that drama and all that kind of stuff. Leave it to them. Let them be whatever. Because I'm going to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Some of the greatest tanks that I know in the MMO I mean, in the MMO genre, you hear very little uh, from them, very very little from them. Um, and when they have had enough, because people are just screwing up, and they're screwing up so bad that they're not, they're just screwing off basically. You know, they, they say something and it's in their inflection. It's like, okay, I screwed up. It's time to do something. Um, it's time to get better. And you try. Um, because, see, here here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. You are a leader. Um, you're either the co-leader or you are the leader of that group. You know, um, four other people, I mean, four other people... Uh, four, eight, three, four, eight, uh, ten, forty. Um, these people are depending on you or your team of tanks to lead them through the entire dungeon without, well, I wouldn't say without, with as little hiccups as there possibly can. And again, I've said this before in another video, um, you know, the human, <clears throat> the, uh, the human part of it is always going to be a factor. And you've got, you've got to, you know, you've got to keep yourself good. You got to keep yourself, you know, focused. Um, and, uh, but like I said, just be calm, be relaxed. Have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of tough skin in any of the MMOs. Some of you may go and say to me, Drethan, you don't understand. I like tanking. I would really like to do tanking, but it scares the heck out of me. I've been in other games that, you know, people have tanked and uh, the DPS and everybody else has just been mean and nasty to them. You're not in that, in that game. You're in a community that is just freaking awesome. And I say this a lot about Final Fantasy XIV. You know, the game, the everything, the community is awesome. Yes, we have some buttheads. Um, and, however, those buttheads get shouted down at times um, when they're, they're being, you know, royal buttheads. Um, the people that you're running with will tell them to knock it the hell off. Um, and I myself, I appreciate it. Uh, I think these, I think this is this is great. Um, but it's a really good community. It's a really I, and the tanking community. Um, you know, you can find them on you know Twitch or here on YouTube, and they're really great and really well knowledge. Um, you know, they're they're not standoffish. They're really great people, um, just like with me. Again, I need to check my ego. <clears throat> Number five. Number five is um, know your job. 
uh, know your class, know your spec, know your your job. You're in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, for those of you who are just coming over to Final Fantasy XIV from another uh, MMO, um, we call them jobs here. Um, so uh, I mean, it's basically the same thing, you know, just like in World of Warcraft or in, in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic or any of the other ones. Um, those of us that and those that have the uh, uh, the Trinity tank, DPS, and healer, you've got you got it. You're you're good. Now, one of the things that I tell people when they're first starting uh, tanking is don't boost, don't boost it. Learn learn from the beginning. Um, you know, you want to be a paladin or a warrior. Start at level one. You want to be a, um, um, you know, a dark knight. Start at what level the dark knight is. Um, but also, if you want to be a dark knight, start with um, with paladin or uh, warrior. This way, you're understanding what is expected of you from you on your job, because you're learning in the beginning. You're learning, you know your mitigation, your um, your damage, and stuff like that. Here in Final Fantasy, not only do you have to make sure that um, you're taking the hits from the baddies um, and keeping them on you, but you also have to go, and this is have to, uh, also do DPS. Because uh, in this game, in Final Fantasy XIV, everybody does DPS. Um, including the healers. Um, not only, I mean, in some games, all you have to do is just stand there and, and you know, mitigate all the damage, and the DPS is taking, you know, taking all the, uh, you know, all the, the, the damage so they, you know, they can, you know, do the stuff that they need to do. Um, but uh, not in this game. Everybody does DPS. Um, the uh, DPS is uh, tasked with doing at least 60% of the damage. You as a tank, you need to do at least 20% of the damage. Um, you know, and between 20 and, and 30% of the damage because you want to help the, uh, the healer. Because sometimes, well, you have some crazy people that are in your, uh, in your dungeon that are going to drive the uh, the healer nuts, and you got to pick up, you know, you got to pick up a little bit of the uh, slack from the healer, um, because you don't want to be kicked out of a uh, dungeon because well, you've been there too long, um, and well, they, as uh, Pint says, they have to go to the bathroom. You need to leave. Um, but anyway, as I have said, um. Like I said, I'm sorry. I, every once in a while, I do a squirrel. I, it's not every once in a while. It's a lot. Um, but anyway, like I said, starting at the beginning, you are looking at learning how to mitigate what is the best um, thing to use of what you should use when you know you're not having a tank buster. For those of you who don't know what a tank buster is, it is when the boss hits you with a uh, big amount of damage, and you got to be able to shrug it off. And that's what some of the some of the other stuff is. Um, you know, one of the things that I you probably already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. When you go up against the boss, make sure. That you are not hitting all your mitigation at one time, because when the uh, the tank buster comes, you're going to get smushed. Um, and well, um, the healer, you do that too many times, the healer is going to want to hire a a, a a ninja and a reaper to reap you. <coughs> I'm just and I'm just playing. <coughs> um, but yeah. Make sure what you're doing and read your tool tips. Um, you know, the more that you read your tool tips, you, the more you understand what it and what's going on. I'll give you a prime example. I was doing a uh, um, 
one of the new dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV in Endwalker. And we were in a raid. Everything was going good. We were uh, um, at, we were on the second boss um, of the trials. And uh, uh, my uh, my co-tank, he kept saying to me, he's like, Drathan, make sure that uh, you hit uh, uh, Shirk when you're passing off the, uh, uh, you know, you're you know, passing off to me for me to take it. Okay. Well, I'm like, I, and I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, Shirk, I, I, and I, here's my challenge. I thought Shirk was, I was shirking him to, I have dyslexia, ladies and gentlemen. I have ADHD and dyslexia. Really great combination. Um, I read it wrong, and I thought what was happening is I was shirking his damage off of him and putting it on to me. Nope. Um, so every time he was, we were passing it back and forth, I was throwing the, the shirk, um, when I was, you know, I was calling the boss to me, and then I would hit shirk, and the boss would go back over to the uh, to the main tank, and he's like, he would croak, and I'm like, why the heck is he croaking? <coughs> it's because of me, because I didn't read the, uh, uh, I, because I didn't read the thing right, and because of the dyslexia, and I flipped everything. Um, but anyway, like I said, read your tooltips, ladies and gentlemen, big time. Read your tooltips. Number four, know your dungeons. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing, um, I've said it in another video um, in State of the uh, uh, Channel, is one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the, uh, the trust system um, for all the dungeons uh, from level 20 on up. Uh, so you guys get to see what's up and what you need to, to take care of and, and things like that. One of the things I'm going to tell you is even though the, the, I'm going to tell you as a, uh, as a tank, first go in um, as a tank into a dungeon as the tru uh, with a trust. Um, and, and basically what a trust is is, uh, is NPCs that are running with you. Um, they, they're programmed to do what they need to do and heal you when they need to heal you. Um, but here's the challenge. Um, once you get comfortable with that dungeon, you need to go and make sure that you're running it with people because the human factor is always going to give you something that... You know the program never thought of um yes computers and algorithms and stuff like that sometimes are smarter than us but the human factor is that one in 100 and mil 100 to a million that they are that that the algorithm is going to go and say no that will never happen guess what it will happen um, we have, uh, I, like myself, I, I love my wife dearly. She's my pocket healer. And like I said, I love her dealer dearly. Um, but one of her biggest challenges is, is she's making sure that, you know, the group is healed and she's backing up. Sometimes what happens is she backs up into a, uh, another mob. Which I have to turn around, grab that mob, bring him in, that type of thing. Um, so know that these type of things are going on. And one of the other great things about doing the dungeons with the trust is it will help you with um, situational awareness. You know, like somebody butt pulling or... You know, the uh, the DPS going and saying, you know what, this is too damn slow. I'm going to run down 
gear and grab some more mobs and bring it to the tank. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, you yell at them or whatever you, you want to do. It's going to happen. Um, just, you're going to just have to bear with it. Um, you know, just pick it up. Make sure that everything's good. Um, you know, do some AoEs to pull the, the baddies onto you. Um, and, uh, you know, your healer will, will make sure, you know, you're taken care of before the person that went and pulled all the crap. Um, but that's another video, another thing like that. Um, one of the things that I will say a lot, um, with, uh, with tanking is DPS pretty much can take care of themselves. Um, they will get bored. They will get, they will sometimes become a pain in the butt. The person that you need to really watch out for is your healer. Because if they take, if you, if they're uh, having to put out a lot of uh, uh, healing on people, especially you, um, and you go down, guess who that baddie's going after first? It's not going to be the DPS, it's going to be uh, that healer, because the healer is doing damage plus healing, and they're upping their, uh, uh, you know, their aggro or their hate. So the boss is constantly, or the baddies are constantly looking at, at them. Um, the other thing is, is, ladies and gentlemen, is most of you are going to do this automatically, but I want to say it again, and emphasize this big time. Once you get into the dungeon and the cutscene is over, make sure that you have your tank stance on because again, it's another one of those things of um, sometimes you go into a dungeon and your tank stance will be on. It's cool. So, uh, sometimes 9 out of 10, um, I always say 50-50, maybe more. Uh, it's going to turn your uh, tank stance off. Make sure you just go, okay, it's on, it's off, pop it on. Um, this way you can run in, grab the, uh, the baddies, and DPS can do their thing, and healers can do their thing. Okay, now we've talked about um, the uh, we've talked about the dungeons. We've talked about the uh, the class. We've talked about making sure that your uh, uh, you know your ego's in check. What what is number three? Number three is really easy. Make sure you always have your consumables. In other MMOs like World of Warcraft. Um, I always tell everybody, make sure that you have your enchantments on, make sure that you have uh, your food buffs up. If you have uh, scrolls, pop those scrolls, that type of thing. Um, the more beefier you are for a healer and for a dungeon, the healers are going to like it. Um, even though that the... Um, uh, the dungeon that you're going to in Final Fantasy XIV is going to scale you up or scale you down. Still, you're going to need that beefiness. Um, so, you know, you can take a hit. Um, in Final Fantasy XIV, you need to make sure that you have your uh, food on. If you're leveling, you're getting a 3% uh, boost to uh, everything that you kill. Make sure that you have your potions, your healing potions, stuff like that. Um, you know, if uh, if you're wanting to bring uh, DPS, um, you know, potions, go for it. Um, you know, there's going to be uh, some time that you cannot go and use your uh, 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 your healing potions, but you're able to put out a little bit more damage. So, you know, it'll help out. Now, should you go, should you or should you not put, um, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, should you or should you not meld? Um, again, it's one of those things that I look at it this way. 
the more beefier you are, um, the healers are gonna uh, the healers are gonna respect you because you're you're wanting to get these things done. Um, you know, but you also got to re realize not only do you need to make sure that you're a little bit beefier, but you also need to make sure that um, your uh, damage is keeping up. Because again, like I said in the past, ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure that you're doing somewhere between 20 and 30 uh, percent of the damage to help out the healer and help out the DPS. Because um, again, everybody DPSs. Um, now, do I meld all the time? Not all the time. Now, if if I hit level fifty and I've got the uh, um, I've got the badges to uh, uh, get the the badge gear, that I'm going to meld, um, and I'm going to make sure that that stuff is because those new dungeons. Or if you're not, you know, up on them, those new dungeons are going to be punishment to you. So the better, the better that you're melded, it's going to be good. But the big thing that I'm, I tell everybody is make sure that you have your potions, make sure you have your food, um, you know, and everything else will take care of itself, um, you know. So we've got that. Number two, <coughs> as a tank, I've told you this before in the in the beginning. You need some, you know, you need some thick skin sometimes because some people can lose it, lose their t temper when you know you're you guys are failing at, at a boss or whatever. Some people can lose their temper. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. Everything will be fine. Um, what I want you to, to worry about is, ladies and gentlemen, especially those of you who are new tanks, is I want you to focus. As soon as you go into that dungeon, make sure that you go and put, you know, set focus on that healer. You know, this way you see them, you know, you see their, their mana. And if... You know, if it's if it needs a little bit of uh, you know up going, you know, slow down a little bit. Um, in the new dungeons, uh, not in new dungeons, but the level twenty dungeons, um, don't go wall to wall. Um, now, a lot of people are going to go. You need to go wall to wall. You need to do this. You need to do this. First of all, you may have a uh, new healer. Don't do that to them respect them respect what they are doing um you know and they will respect you um and what i do ladies and gentlemen is this right here is i'll pull the first mob and uh, the first set of mob and if they you know everything is good and they're 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 feeling it and you see that not only that are they keeping up with the healing but they're also keeping up with the damage then you know the next mob pack you know pull two this time and go that way but in the first you know the first couple of dungeons don't go more than two you know the dps is gonna go and say i want you to pull more okay go get them if you croak you'll be running back um, if not, I've got it when you get here. Um, but you also, like I said, you want to make, uh, when I was growing up in, um, playing MMO, I first starting to play MMOs, I was always taught protect your healer. Even if it's, you know, even if you're a DPS, protect your healer. As a tank, I always protect my healer. I make sure. I mean, the dang thing is, is I'll be sitting in the in the um, high uh, dungeons, the higher end dungeons, and I'll be tanking, and I'll see that my uh, healer is starting, you know, to lose a lot of health as 
that's happening, I'll click over on them and hit them with a heel and go back to what I'm doing. Um, this way, they look around and go, oh, okay, no problem. They know that you're looking out for them. They And again, you build a camaraderie and you re build a little bit of respect and people know when you're doing that kind of stuff, word of mouth is going to get around and going and saying, hey, you know, this guy, you know, he makes sure that the healers are going. Now, at the high-end uh, dungeons, if you want to go wall-to-wall, um, -wall, basically, you know, um, where you're at to where the boss is, but you've got to clear all the, all the baddies first, that's totally up to you. But again, I would make sure, and let me say this again, I would make sure that your healer can handle it. DPS can handle it. DPS pretty much can handle anything um, as long as they stay out of the, the crap. Um, your healer is, you got to keep an eye on what's going on. Um, uh, you know, and again, especially for those um, higher level dungeons, you know, pull one mob at a time. Pull two mobs at a time. You know, if they're being, if they're, you know, doing good, you know, pull another one. Um, I'm, in World of Warcraft, I was known as a batshit crazy uh, tank. I love tanking. And, you know, the more that I can have baddies around me and, you know, they're hitting on me and, and you know, DPS is doing their thing and healers are doing their thing and I'm doing their my thing. I am having a blast. When I'm not having a blast is people are dying because the healer is dying because things aren't, people aren't doing what needs to be done. Especially watching out for the healer. But again, ladies and gentlemen, that is my opinion. Number one, number one rule that I have have fun you know yes ladies and gentlemen we have uh, we have people that are that are new tanks that have tank anxiety ladies and gentlemen I have tank anxiety I mean come on um, the the new dungeons that came out I was like oh crappy um, but I did it I, I'm you know one step at a time you know they weren't pretty um, and I'm going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the best tank in the world. I'm not the worst tank in the world, but I'm not the best tank in the world. Um, you know, I look at myself as being, you know, fair to middling. You know, I, I'm middle of the pack. Um, and I try to do better every time. And that's what I want you, you guys, you, uh, you new tanks to do is every dungeon get better. Even if you are at max level, you're clearing things, you don't even have to think about it anymore. Everything is freaking spectacular. I know that isn't, a, that isn't a word, but it is for me. Um, everything is going great. Try to find something to learn new of that dungeon. Push yourself. Have fun. If you're not having fun, why the hell are you tanking? Um... You know, it takes a special person that uh, likes to tank, enjoys tanking, um, you know, and leading people. You know, even being, you know, the, the secondary tank, you know, or the off tank. You know, I don't mind being the off tank. I don't mind being the main tank. Um, but I don't mind being the off tank and going and saying, okay... I'm going to pull off a hammer or I'm going to make sure that these baddies over here are taken care of when they spawn. Um, you know, find your niche, but always have fun. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, it's one of those things that I just absolutely love about this um, game is, and tanking is that I have fun. I have, I, uh, I learn so much out of every dungeon, be it a, uh, uh, a tactics dungeon or a, uh, uh, got, 
dungeons with, uh, dungeon with people in it. If I'm tanking or if I'm uh, uh, doing DPS. Now, some of you may go and say, well, you know, Dre, one of the things that, that I heard you say one time is um, you like going into the, into a dungeon, uh, first time going into a dungeon, you like going into it as DPS. Yes, I do. Um, that was without the, you know, the NPCs being with me. Um, now that I, I can, you know, use the NPCs uh, to learn the dungeons, I go to that, but I used to do the DPS, understand what, you know, what was expected of me as a DPS, and then go in as a tank, um, you know, see what happens when, you know, the boss is doing this, or, you know, these different graphics are going off, what is that meaning, um, you know, if the, a boss is shouting, why is he shouting, um, and that, that different type of stuff. Now, one of the uh, things that are going to be coming with uh, 6.1, what I understand, is the Alliance Raid. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, with the Alliance Raid, I'm going to go DPS. I'm going to go go as my Samurai to get that and understand, you know, what's going on in that raid. Once I've got it and understand it, then I'm going to go in it with uh, as a tank. Um, because again, I'm going to be learning some different stuff. Um, so, I mean, the thing is, is, is ladies and gentlemen, this whole thing, I mean, I've been talking for a little bit, a little while here. Um, but the thing is, is ladies and gentlemen, have fun. If you're going to tank, have fun. Um, yes, is a very important, uh, job. Um, yes, it can be a pain in the butt at times, but it's rewarding, um, being, you know, going in and getting, um, bosses down and being with a team that's doing it is fun. Um, be, and for those of you who have tank anxiety, be, be easy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, you know, you'll get it. You'll, you'll get everything that needs to be. You know, I didn't learn how to tank overnight. It took me a while. I didn't learn how to tank. I, I didn't jump into this game tanking and knew everything I needed. And, oh, I'm still making mistakes, but I'm still having fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to recap, number six, ego. Check it. Know your, uh, when your, uh, your uh, next thing is know your class. You know, know your job. If you are a paladin, know what you're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, when you're supposed to pop your wings, when you're, you know, uh, when you should, you know, heal yourself. Take, a, take the uh, burden off of uh, the healers. Um, number four, know your uh, dungeons. You know, run them and run the the trust get comfortable with those dungeons and then run run them with people um number three use your consumables why you're not using your consumables i have no idea number two watch out for your healer listen to your healer and watch out for your healer and number one ladies and gentlemen have fun Just absolutely have fun. I can't find, I, I, I don't know any other, you know, I don't know any other, you know, thing. You know, being a tank to me is just absolutely great. Um, if, I mean, I, I'm playing around with uh, um, Guild Wars 2. There's no tank. I'm playing around a little bit with Lost Ark. Again, no tank. They're okay games, but I much rather tank. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say again, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. Hope you all uh, enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this uh, uh, video, make sure you hit the like button. 
if you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button make you sure you hit the uh, bell and I'll see you on the next one and ladies and gentlemen if you would like to see uh, more videos and more things uh, from me you can check me out on Twitter I Twitter you can check me out on twitch.tv slash Drathan every Wednesday Thursday and Friday uh, th Wednesday Thursday Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, now, the times may start changing. Uh, and the wife is uh, going back uh, back to uh, the work part-time and working here at, house, at the house part-time. So we've got to get that schedule uh, taken care of. But it'll be okay. Um, but anyway, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, be good to each other. Uh, have a great night tank well have fun what you're doing and always remember i may be blind but sometimes i see more than you do goodbye everybody thank you very much